There are two tools in Access Consciousness that I have found are absolutely great as what I call anti-funkifizers. You know, when you feel yourself falling down in life and beating your own head against a wall, that you are painfully aware you put there yourself. You know, that kind of funkify. Tool number one, staying in the question. Humans are not particularly good about handling answers. We tend to find the answer and then stick with that sucker come hell or high water, even if we cause the hell and high water. I guess there is a sort of comfort in knowing you have the answer. And yet, as I speak from experience, when you think you found the answer, after some time and life goes by, you pretty much become convinced that it really wasn't the answer. So you start off again down that road to the Holy Grail. It's in human DNA, I guess, but it's not very useful. What is useful is to continually ask the open-ended questions and sticking with those no matter what happened. Questions such as, what energy do I need to be to experience my life with ease and joy? Or, what else could happen here that is far beyond what I ever could imagine? Or, what would it take for me to be happy, creative, and inspired? In other words, you don't want questions you already know the answers to or that have obvious answers. You're shooting for the moon with the questions, with no idea what the answers could be. In fact, you don't want to have any answers, just better questions. What's weird is when you ask questions like these, you begin to get certain awarenesses that look like answers. It's the ask and you shall receive mechanism in this reality. And it's nice, but you want something even greater. What else is possible? This is a great question when you start getting answers or awarenesses as a result of the open-ended question. What's also weird is that apparent answers or changes relating to the question start coming at you from the universe at large. Someone will say something that relates to your question or an event or scene will suddenly strike you as particularly relevant to your question. It's fun, really, and really helps restore your curiosity. Much less frustrating than burdening yourself with the search for answers. The universe is better at those. Let it do its job. Okay, uh, tool number two. Interesting point of view. This is a very useful way to snap out of negativity of any kind or to reset yourself when you realize you're being judgmental or making a bunch of conclusions not supported by evidence. Just say, interesting point of view, I have that point of view. The self-observation that your behavior was the result of a specific point of view allows you to shift outside of it and in so doing neutralizing energy with that point of view. For example, I have late bedtime and late rising hours, and this morning somebody was hammering on something next door. After waking up three or four times all grumpy about it, I remembered interesting point of view. I made the statement a few times, and lo and behold, I wasn't grumpy anymore, and was able to go back to sleep and not be awakened again by those noises. This is a good one for driving in traffic, too, or in any social gatherings or events. It keeps you light and in present time awareness. Much more fun. Experiment with these two tools and who knows where you could go and who you could be. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.